Hey everyone, Cody here. And today we'll be doing one of my kind of infamous uh, fractal paintings. So we're gonna be using our glass enamel and our metallic paint, and we're going to be, you know, blotting the paint over and over again to kind of create uh, an abstract work. And so let's go over the colors. I've already got them stirred so we can kind of get right into it. Uh, we've got kind of a medium pink here, a dark pink that's almost like a magenta, uh, a light pink, a white, and a gold. And so we're going to just go ahead and start putting those paints on the canvas, and then we're gonna start kind of moving them around. And actually today I have uh, a canvas sheet. So we're not using the watercolor paper, we're not using acrylic paper, this is a canvas sheet. So uh, you can actually buy pads of canvas uh, that are actually like little sheets of canvas. So you can buy that. So uh, that's what we're gonna be using today and hopefully it turns out good. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and get started. So the main thing that we wanna kinda of do is we want to create a couple of pockets of color. So we're gonna put like three little pockets of the dark pink or the medium pink. And we'll move that out of here, out of the way. And then we're gonna move on to our next color. So we're gonna do this. And the reason we're doing these little pockets is because once we start mixing these colors, um, they're gonna kinda of get lost because um, they're gonna get mixed a little bit. The glass enamel being very thin uh, paint, it likes to uh, kind of absorb itself. So what happens is you'll have a color that kind of just gets absorbed by the rest of the colors um, because the paint is so liquidy. Uh, so now we'll do our white and we'll do a puddle there, maybe a puddle there, and then maybe just a little bit right there. Um, and I think that's probably good. I guess we'll find out once we start painting. We'll move that aside. And then we'll put gold, one of my favorite colors. I'll just put a little bit there. We'll do kind of a pocket here and a pocket here. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit kind of in between some of these to fill in the gaps. And that should be enough paint. We'll know once we start painting. So here, I've just got some leftover plastic from one of my canvases. So this is what we're going to be using to make our fractal painting. <clears throat> so we're gonna kind of wad that up and then we will get started. So we're gonna start with white and we're gonna try to pull out some of the white into some of these other areas because the white tends to just get absorbed into the other paints. So once we have some of the paint spread out, then we can kind of start moving into some of these other colors. So we're just, we just pick it up and then we move it somewhere else and we just kind of transplant the paint across the canvas and our goal here is to kind of kind of touch the edge of the, the colors to kind of mix them, but we're not trying to lose the colors per se, if that makes sense, right? So if I just kind of go in here um, and then kind of go right into another color, then I kind of lose those colors. So I'm actually gonna hold this down because it's kind of lifting it a little bit. And uh, if you don't, if you pull it straight up, uh, like if I pull this straight up as opposed to at an angle, it kind of creates a different design. So it really kind of comes down to the design you want to create. If you want to do that, that's cool. Um, it does create some kind of cool designs, but I'm not looking to do that. So I'm trying to just pick it up and, and put it right back down um, right on top of it. So you can kind of see that I'm, I'm taking one color and kind of dispersing it somewhere else. This is to kind of give these uh, colors some real coverage. Um, so we're gonna take like some of this and we'll put it like over here. And then we'll take some of this and kind of put it down here. And we're just gonna keep doing that. And see it's lifting it, so it's going to kind of give it that hold design. I'm not looking to do that, I don't want that. So I'm gonna kind of lightly tap it so it doesn't pull it as much. And I'm gonna fill in some of these gaps while I'm down here. And I always tell myself I'm going to kind of base coat the background before I do these paintings. And then I never do, because I'm just so excited to start painting. So it is what it is. So now I'm just gonna take some of the colors and kind of sporadically mix the colors into the gaps where there's kind of canvas paper showing and I'm just gonna fill these in. And we can kind of go over some of these colors now to kind of to mix them. 
and I'm going to rotate this plastic so that uh, you know we can get some fresh colors on there and pull these colors out. And look like I'm kind of making a mess there, so I'm going to move those out of the way. We don't want that in here. Now, however many times you go over the paint is going to kind of determine um, how small these little fractals are. So like if you just kind of go over the same one and use the same color over and over again without kind of dipping it into other colors, then you're just gonna keep getting the same color uh, when you place it back down, if that makes sense. So sometimes we kind of want to pull these colors and like pull some of this out of here and then take some of that light pink and then take some of this medium pink and, and just kind of move it around uh, the surface here to give it a little bit of uh, dyna dynamic, dynamicity. I don't, I don't know if that's a word, but we want to make it dynamic is, is what I'm trying to say here. All right, so I'm gonna kind of lightly push that. All right, so pretty close to done. We just gotta fill in kind of the gaps. So we're just using just the edge of it to kind of fill in some of these gaps. And there are gonna be areas where there's paint, like heavier, they're going to be heavier in paint just because uh, where we put those little puddles. Um, so we're, we're, what we're trying to do here is take these areas of a lot of paint and move them to these other little puddle areas. And it keeps picking it up at an angle, which I don't want to do. So I'm going to take some of this gold and a little bit of this dark area and kind of mix those there so that it can kind of blend in. Okay. So now we're pretty much done. Uh, what we want to do now is just kind of look for any areas where the paint didn't cover it. We're just going to take some of this paint and move it around. And there's not a lot of white throughout the painting, so we're going to kind of move some of that out to balance it. It's like right in front of my face. <laughs> just sniffing these fumes. All right, so we're going to move some of that over here and kind of pull these colors together. And that's pretty much it. So now there's a little bit of some gaps up here kind of fill in this one right here and right here. I'm just gonna kind of take from the areas with a lot of paint, move those out. And that's it. So the painting is done. And this one actually turned out really good. I love, uh, you know, I'm not a huge, huge fan of pink, but, uh, you know, I think when it's done right, it can it can kind of look good. So I'm gonna move these aside and go ahead and show you guys the final piece. So that is the final piece. I wonder if I can uh, go ahead and get a snapshot of it, thumbnail. All right, so here it is. I'll kind of give you guys like an overview. So we got a lot of decent fractals going on. I'm gonna go over it and just check for any gaps. Uh, but it looks pretty good. We got a lot of, I, I do like it. There's actually quite a bit of balance, surprisingly. Sometimes they just get really heavy in one color, but I think using different colors and kind of spreading it out at the beginning really helped with that. Um, so it's really kind of, uh, it is pretty balanced. I mean, you can kind of see that you can properly see like all the colors. Uh, they stand out, you know, quite a bit all over the piece. There's not one that is super overpowering. Uh, I feel like overall this was a successful piece. 
Um, again, very balanced, very bright. And I think that this would fit really well in someone in a home of someone who really did like pink and, you know, those accents of white and gold to kind of make it look airy, but also a little bit, uh, you know, modern because it's got the gold in it. So it looks, you know, kind of, kind of fancy, I guess. Um, but that's it guys. That's the whole painting overall success. Um, and this, that's all there is to it. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you then. Bye guys.